Welcome back to Bridgeburn of 412 plays Neo 2. And so we finished this zone in our last episode. So we are now ready to pick up sticks and move to our next region. I was thinking about doing this twilight mission, but I thought, no, nah, let's just keep the pain train rolling. There's another thing to find here. Deep gauntlets. Again, I think I mentioned a few episodes back that if you go and you look around with your cursor, it will highlight in certain areas and give you a little treat. And it gives you a title as well uh, if you collect enough of those things. With each success, Hideyoshi's reputation grew greater. Yet for all his small victories, he was still a bit player in a much larger landscape, forced to lead the horses of his masters around by the bit. All right. A little bit of history there. の あしゃりで二人で一つの名とは古今例がない。他に類を見ぬ働きが。この白二人であればできる。まさに仁王のようになる。Alright. Of course, we're the Hide part of Hideyoshi in the naming. ノブナガ様は天下取りの第一歩として機内の完全掌握を狙ってる。しかし、これを阻む越前の朝倉を打たねば西へは進め。遺産で越前に向かった方がいいが遠征中に強報が届いてない。お市様が腰入れして同盟
with the very first thing that we started the game with. So we'll put that back on. All right, so let's jump on in and get the business started. Returned. Honk lock. Hey, hey, the gang's all here. Okay. We can grab this first. I don't think we have anybody. You don't start with anybody, so um, we have run through missions before and forgotten to activate the uh, deal. It can be a bit annoying. Uh, and you should always run back and check rather than just plowing ahead on your forward adventure because uh, a lot of times there's something back there and sometimes it's even mm -hmm. Give me something. Okay. I got a sacred arrow. Alright, here we go. Blue. Oh, yes. I the goat spirit is going to keep talking to us. I think I'm going to switch over to the bow. At least for the first part. It's because we've got a million arrows. And as long as it one-shots, that's what's good. Alright, and uh, I don't know if it's going to one-shot this guy over there. Let's see. No, one shot. Oh, the dog called his friends. I should have shot the dog first. Push the wrong button. Ooh, wow, wow, wow. Guy's got his block going, doesn't he? Boom. Julie's punks, what's what? So there's a Kadama right there, uh, but we have to go around from the other side, which is right around the corner here. Um, I don't remember if there's another dude or not. I guess I pulled the guy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't know if you could over jump and fall down there. Probably. Um, but after this, since we have enough for a level, it gets a little bit hairy. Um, up there. 
so you could very well die. Um, so I am going to spend my uh, Amrita here before we go any farther. We will have to clear this again. This stuff again. But it's a little ways to the next uh, shrine. So I don't want us to be in a position where we are trying to get back. Hi. Oh, he saw me. Seem to be running slower. Maybe those boots that I put on. I swapped out these. I broke down and sold everything. Um, and maybe I had like a running buff light running buff on those other shoes I was wearing. So, sad about that, but what can you do? Um, let's put some more in our key pulse. We gotta get magic up to 10, too. Just, uh, we've gotta really start to get some of the more useful magic skills. Boom. Get, get his, got his call off, turn it. I love the dogs howling in the distance on this, uh, on this mission. Here's Mr. Rodachi again. He will trouble us no further. Okay, so I got my familiarity on my other Usari Gama. Uh, oh, I was using the wrong one, that's why. Derp, this is the one I wanted to use. Because I did get a new one. And um, granted, it's only blue, but it has the uh, life drain on high attack and imbue corruption. Um, this one just had the high attack damage. So, I, you know what? I don't know. You know, this one is higher, and the, the attack power of 444 will go up as we continue to level it. So, we'll see what happens. <laughs> All right, now this can be a lot of mayhem. And, um, and you don't want the mayhem. I've, you know, when I go through here, it's always mayhem for me because I am an impatient person. And um, uh, you got to kind of um, wheedle the stuff out to clear a path for yourself first, which is a little bit tricky to do because once the light hits you, you'll see up here in a little bit. Yeah, see that light? If that light hits you, it will, um, it will turn the whole zone into like a dark zone. So you'll see there's a lot of enemies here. So we're going to go ahead and try to pull them. If we can. Throw the thing at us. Come on out of there. And immediately he will, he will try to flip it so that we're going back to the light. Oh, there's always that follow up one that gets me. There's a little bit of a a little bit of a stall, so he'll do the two swings, and then you think his attack is over, and then he sh launches himself at you. All right, uh, so he's down. There's also a Gaki. There are actually several Gakis here, and we see there he is over there. Ooh, and you hear the little scampus, I'm sure. Right here. We're not going to pull him up yet because we, we don't need him just yet. But we do want to see if we can get the owl eye in our sights. There's like a three-eyed owl. 
that is casting the light. And, oh yeah, there it is. It's up there. See it? So if we can shoot that, the light comes on. But then he flies away. I think. Am I out of bullets already? That ends the uh, the dark zone here. Otherwise, um, after he sees you with the light, like you just did, all of this will be dark zone, and you will have to sprint. And up here are enemies, of course. And there is a... Sorry for staggering in my speech. It's just I'm, uh, I'm trying to concentrate because you can really get get overwhelmed here. Um, right here, there is a uh, like an eye thing, and you have to run over here and and crush it um, in order to turn off the dark zone, unless you can shoot the eye of the owl guy that's up there. And, you know, friends, I'm not 100% sure about this, but um, if you break these eye things, there won't be as many eye things in the boss fight at the end, which we'll probably get to in our next episode, I hope. Um, I'm not 100% sure that killing the guy like we just did with the, the range weapon actually does it. Um another gaki around here or maybe it was here maybe we killed him already no we did not something woke up there he is and i'm hoping that this boss fight will be easier with our build because we have some range things we can use our what is that you don't shoot me don't do that. I'm trying to take care of this guy. Let's just ruin his day right from the beginning. Oh. Snake did not ruin his day as much as I was hoping. And these guys are no joke because they... He was almost ready to grab me and throw me to the ground and chop me down. Would have been ugly. Um, I thought there was a Kodama over here somewhere. Ooh, there it is. Back to the shrine, you little waif. Can I grab this? I can't tell you how long it took me to get through this area on my first playthrough because the, the light kept lighting up and I didn't know what was going on. I was getting ganked and it was uh, a very chaotic situation. But my trials and tribulations, friends, have become your blessings. As now you know the secret. Go ahead and throw that. There you go. Thought he was going to wind up on me. Um... My weapon now is a sentient weapon. Uh, you'll see it's purple right there, so it will do like more damage and more mayhem, which is always great. But you can see the little bar, and the bar slowly working its way down, so I could keep going. But let us see what we can drop here. Um, got almost nothing of a purple variety. We wanted to keep that for the damage bonus. 
guess I have to drop an item. So let's see. Do we have any purple items that we're not using? I guess I could decon a lot of these items. Uh, Abacus. Nope, that's got water resistance, so we're going to keep that. Gourd is water damage. We're not really using water damage. Home is Emery to charge back. So yeah, let's go ahead and drop that and see if he wants that. He ain't going to give us too much for that, I don't think. I think a blue gets you a blue, purple gets you a purple. Or in this case, like garbage. All right. Um, there is a shortcut to get down here pretty soon. Open this. Still got my flipping around thing happening, which I never really understand why that's happening. Uh, over here will be a shortcut. So this is where we walked in right before there, where all the mayhem started lighting up. So we came from that direction. The shrine's back there, but we do not need to go rest at the shrine. Um. And corruption works better on humans. Purity, so like if you look on our weapon here, uh, the corruption is, um, oops. the corruption is this symbol right here. Um, uh, purity is another symbol that works better on uh, yokai. Let's go from this direction down here. Seems to work better for me. I should not have wasted all my bullets, I don't think. Okay, you see how quickly it applied the corruption there? Which weakened him greatly, which allowed us to just end his miserable existence. Alright. Here we go. Boom, boom. Oh, no, he's going to blow the... Oh, I forgot he blows the... I think we've killed everybody in the area, though, so it doesn't really matter. Anybody's coming. Swordsmith's hammer. There we go. And we have to remember to... Uh, assign our Kodama blessing. So we came from, I believe, this direction. There's the ladder. We went here, dropped down, went over here, worked our way around here. Um, I don't think I want to go this way. Oh, this is just, this just leads us back around anyway. We jump down here. This takes us back. Do the shortcut right there. The ladder brings us back around again. So pretty much that's what's that's what's over here. I always have to double check because I never trust myself. If that's it. So while it appears to be many different paths, this is the path of progression. A lot of dead bodies in this uh, in this zone hanging in the trees and stuff like that. Okay. Um, all right, now we're going to meet one of the uh, weirder uh, spots in the game. Not, I shouldn't say spots. I should say enemies. And because I don't speak Japanese, the names don't stick. So uh, you'll see they're a little bit, they're a little bit weird. Um, give me one second, friends. I'll be right back.
Sorry about that. I'm back. All right, so we're going to start to head across here, this bridge. And there's the enemy I was talking about. So let's go ahead and bring him over. A couple arrows in him. Bring him over here. And... Hi. Did you come over? There we go. Then they do this. So let's give him an old... Oh, he jumped over the snake. And he'll do like... Fire like that. So it, when we get hit with water damage like we've got now, um, I believe we hit we don't hit as strong and we take more damage from their weapons. So if you were to use a water amulet, that's what that does. This was the guy I was looking for. We traded, but I got the life, and he got to die. Okay. That is a shortcut that we will open up later to help us from the shrine, which is over here. Let's go ahead and grab this shrine. And we have to put on our, um, we gotta put on our, uh, we gotta put on our Kodama blessing. So always you wanna go with the Emerita one, just as, you know, that's video games 101. Like, you know, if you get a chance to have an XP boost, like you don't, like you don't go with the, you don't go with the other stuff. You always go with the XP boost. You learn how to play the game so that you can play with the XP boost. Not with little buffs for the number of heals that you get. Did he go away or is he still down there? Uh huh. Oh, he was hiding, but I showed him who was boss. Um, is there a shiny I missed? It doesn't look like it. So, of course, it's trying to tell you to go that way, but of course, we're going to go this way. Uh, and we're going to take care of this guy. But first, we need to take care of that guy. Now, you got to be careful, though, because there's a big old hole here. Now, if you were paying attention a few episodes ago, hearing something. Yeah. That's the noise of the fan. The guy playing, I call him the fan, but it's the guy playing the, the weapon to bring up people to ruin our day. I forgot about those guys. We gotta kill this guy. He's stealing our Amrita. You probably didn't notice, but he was stealing our Amrita. So you kill him to get your Amrita back, but also if you don't kill him within a certain amount of time, he will actually get stronger and turn into a one-eyed Oni. Then he becomes a much bigger problem at that point. Let's collect our loot, and then we're going to spend that point. We got in our that we got in our ninja shinobi boxes are always good for us. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What were we working towards, friends? We we're working down here towards frugality, I think. So I think we got to get the poison arrows, even though we're not going to use them. Yeah, and shrapnel bomb is great. Um. We've got so much to do. So much to do. All right. These will make your weapon a blessed weapon. So if you hit it, now you'll see I've got the green on my weapon. So for Yokai, it'll make our weapon hit harder. All right, so there he is right there. So we're going to execute him. They're very weak. You just have to make sure you kill them. Because otherwise, if we had gotten within his range, whatever this was would have popped up, or this one would have popped up, and then we would have had to fight them as well. You don't want to do that. You really don't. Take care of Mr. Archer over here. Boom. 
Um, and this guy sees us here. He's got a hand cannon. So, you know, uh, it's almost, you're, it's almost like you're going to get hit. Almost like you're going to get hit. Um, but you do have to go up there because you'll notice on our little Kadama radar, a Kadama right under us. And I was going to warn you not to do that. And then I did it like there is, there is like forward inertia. So you always want to make sure that your angles are proper. So my angle wasn't exactly what it should have been to stay on the on the lock there. Okay, there's another guy. <laughs> and again, you only have to get the Kodamas on your first playthrough of your character. When you go into New Game Plus, um, you don't have to find the Kodamas again. And I've never been a New Game Plus guy just because I don't have a million hours. And also, uh, when you start New Game Plus, it can be pretty easy. So, um, so yeah. All right, we're going to try to get this guy in the eye again here. Okay. And so he flies away. I think that takes care of a second, uh, a second do hickey majig. Uh, what can I exterminate here? Oh, I'm hearing here, so that thing right there, it's on its way over. Let's let him come on over, and we'll just start him out with some fire. I have some fire. Don't go away from my fire. My fire's gonna run out. Ah, oh, that's so dumb. So dumb. Do a super attack. There we go. Now you can have some fire. There you go. Do, 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 do. So let me show you where the, uh, in case you miss shooting the guy. Got his little kick in, didn't he? Oh. Um, let me show you where the... The eyeball is over here. There's a Kodama right there being guarded by one of those little little Onis. Turn into the big Onis. So this one would be essentially it's where these guys are. Just the bounce back that got me again. Boy, that took a long time to kill that guy. Bouncing all over the place. Yeah, so that one is up here. So you have to essentially run, and you're gonna run. The idea is once it goes to the dark zone, the trap is that you run here, but you can't get up from here. You can only get here from crossing the bridge. So while you're panicking with all the enemies that are trying to kill you, um, you panic run through here. There's a bad guy down there that's going to wake up when we go over there. There's also enemies from above. That, you know, the sounds in this game are pretty great. I mean, there's a lot of help that you get from being able to hear the game. Kill that Oni. 
pretty much if you can shoot him in the eyeball. So my yokai weapon speaks to me. It means I've gotten enough on my meter of kills to make my yokai weapon work. Alright, so we cleared out this little bottom area. And again, there is a little bit of a maze element to this too. Um, and we don't want to go this way. We want to go the other way. We want to go the other way. So we're going to head back around this way. Did I just run a big circle? Here, we're going to knock down our tree. You can see there's the shrine right over there. Uh, and we're going to go from this direction. This is the guy we killed from before. We're across the bridge. Oh, I forgot about this little buddy over here. This is worst nightmare right there. So there's the, the ugly dude that we got from across. Uh, does that see us? Saw us. Something stop seeing us now. All right, so there is going to be a thing that's going to pop up out of there. I think it's one of those guys with the weird, uh, with all the legs. Uh, how am I doing? You should always wait till after he jumps. Sneakies. <laughs> Put myself back up with my health and such. Um, this is technically the path of progression. Uh, but we're going to kind of go this way. There's stuff here that we want to take care of. Oh, there's another one of those guys. Um... And again, we got to start using our... using our stuff here. Nope. 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 That did not work at all. Lunas. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, so we got the shortcut. I just gotta remember how to get there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And these logs you always gotta be careful about. So I've grabbed my spear guy. I'm gonna lose all my stuff. Oh, I lost all my stuff because I forgot about the spear guy because I was too impatient. Ah! Mm. Mm. I was too impatient. Oh, that's always my problem. I wanted to run back there and just wreck shop and uh, uh, so many unforced errors. Now I'm even running the wrong direction from the log. Hi, they me. Because I was thinking, oh, I don't want to waste my ammo. Waste the ammo, dude. You got plenty of ammo. 
Be smart. Yeah, that's as easy as it should have been. What did I die from? Died. Another sneeze. Hopefully that guy won't run out of the whole thing. Oh yeah, I died down here. Sorry, had another sneeze. All right, let's do this properly for crying out loud. And, you know. Don't do his stupid attacks. Travel amulet, those are always great. Throne Crusher Cannon. I don't know if it's going to be better than the hand cannon we've got because, of course, it's giving us the, uh, yeah, it's giving us the cheapy. Damage most enemies defeated D, so that ain't, you know, that ain't great. I like the item drop. I like the item drop for the one we're using. Might as well get our little heal. This one's kind of pointless at this point because it's not really, I don't know. Doesn't really help that much, but you know, we will carry on whatever little boost we can get. And uh, use it again. That attack bothers me. That happens all the time. It really is annoying. Like, I should hit the thing that I'm trying to hit. Okay, so this is the other direction. So we went all the way around there and then we worked our way all the way back because we didn't want to face the Tengu over there on that rickety bridge. Because rickety bridges equal uh, bad things happening. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this, and we're going to throw out... Let's throw out some more while we're at it. We've got a lot of them. We're going to pull them over here. Hey, stupid. We're over here. Let him work his way into the flipsy doodles. Oops. I hit it on the wrong thing. Ugh, it's almost impossible to dodge this nonsense. That was so close to dying there, I, I just don't even know what to say. Ah! Ugh. God, I hate Tengu so much. Oh, I hate them so much. But trust me, it's a lot better fighting them there than on the other side. Because, uh, yeah. And you will, uh, you will miss this log and plunge to your death. So, you know, it'll happen and you just kind of got to run the wrong way. You just kind of got to make peace with it. Run the wrong way. I look at it like, you know, uh, you can always, even the most mundane of things, like when you're, like taking that guy out with the bow, it's like, you're always, I've trained melee attack. We want to let. We want to keep getting this one working. We're almost always in high melee damage when we're critical. We might end up keeping that. All right. So, boom. That could be the path of progression, but we're going this way again. Left. Oh, he saw us this time. That is the one shortcoming of Brute, is that there's a little bit of a wind-up time on it. Um, like if we end up using uh, tank, um, 
the I can't remember the name of it, but it's a phantom uh, yokai spirit. When you use that, it it will um, change to more of a parry timing rather than the brute timing. And what that does then is it um, makes you respond a lot faster. So note to self, you can't cast it and then target the opponent. Wait a minute, I thought I lost all my stuff from before. And it was sitting right there. I guess I did lose a bunch of it from before. Uh, uh, this is making me very sad. Making me very sad. And again, I can't remember. Is it this, is it this way? Um, I don't think I've had this much trouble on that Tangu in a long time. What exactly is going wrong here? Getting arrows, and I'm worried about losing the arrows. Can I just sneak past this guy? No. Not gonna let me. Oh, he swings wide. That's why you want to stay right up close to him. It did. All right. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip things up a little bit here. Oops, this is what I want to. We are going to. To do it that way you know <laughs> oh that was so glorious after trying to break our heads against the wall just loaded up the hand cannon and just wrecked him that's glorious um baddies over here, but I can never remember where they are. See, one of the reasons why we want to come this way is this guy's sitting over here with a hand cannon. And what you do is if you come from the other side, you don't see him. And then you go out there to get that shiny, and he shoots the hand cannon, and you get launched out into the abyss. And um, it's unpleasant. I'm going to switch to our Roaring gun. Just take him out that way. Heard someone. Someone heard me. Here he, oh, it didn't matter. I thought if I took him out with the with the the gun, it wouldn't bring all the enemies, but it did. Except for this guy who's paying attention. Now has left our world to travel into the deep beyond. And we got some oh my mages locks. Again, there's nothing shiny up there. Those are just to make your weapons have uh what you hoot just on it. Uh, let's see, where are we here with our stiff? Go ahead and use this one. Um, 
want to eventually get to extraction talisman, but we have to we have to get to the adept. We have to get to the adept one first. Um, well, barrier talisman is a good one too. We're gonna to want that one. That helps you um, increase your key recovery. A little talisman that you can pop to help your key recovery. Okay, so we're taking care of all that. Adama. Now we can come out here in peace and get the shiny. And yes, I have fallen from here. And yes, you can too if you really set your mind to it. You too can fall to your death. All right, now, um, this just took us around in the big circle. This is the way we came. We came in here. We shot the crow guy or the owl guy up there. Or the three-eyed raven or whatever you want to call it. And you could go this way. But when you go this way, again, that guy shoots you with the gun right there. So, um, we cleared this little area. Obviously, is a way we did not go. Um, back here, where we? Yes, this way. Okay. Derpity derp. Okay, and here is supposed to come in and see that. And you would think that that would mean spider, but it doesn't. Because I think those are pinions of wings. But it does look like a spider. So we're going to talk to Mumio here. She's very nice to us. She didn't really give us anything. We don't need her help. All right, so this is probably a good place to end this episode. Uh, we've got a little bit more to clear through here before we enter the boss area. And like I say, the boss might take us a couple tries. So this is where we're going to hold up on this area, and I'll see you in our next episode. Thanks for tuning in.